well, with that introduction, hello everyone, welcome to Soul Mask. Uh, yeah, I decided to uh, do a little video section about this game because I think it's one of the best survival games I have played and this is still very early access. So th that says a little something. I talked about this game to a few uh, people and they said, why don't you make videos about it? Well, uh, surprise, surprise, I can make a video about it and I will make some videos about it, but I can't promise to do it uh, three times a week like I did in the past. But yeah, here we go, Soul Mask. I will try to explain how the game works in detail while going through it. But for now, I think I will be making a female character. Wait, no, let's make a male one for a change. Uh, there are some options, it's rather limited. I, I can actually still prefer the female character, actually. So let's have a look. This is not bad, this is not bad, this is a nice one. Okay, it, oh, this is not bad, okay. Let's hairstyle, oh no, I don't like that. Nope, don't like that. This I kind of like, yeah, sure. Hair color, of course. Reddish. Oh, no, silver gray, doesn't look bad. Skin tone is fine with me. Height. Well, let's check the height. Let's make her a little bit taller. Body size, I think that's uh, weight. Yeah, see, I don't want uh, that to be too much. Body fat, no, that's for breasts. Yeah, I, I, will, I, will, I will not touch the breasts. I, I will leave it like that. So, next up, off we go into Soul Mask. Another little cutscene. And I'm trying to escape the battle. Of course, lots of stuff is chasing me. And I need to uh, escape. And somehow, I drop down at some ancient ruins. The thing is opening up to me. And here you go, I find a mask, and a mask takes possession of me. So I can uh, customize this mask, I have an option of three masks to start with. Uh, all masks have the same things, the starter masks, except there is one speci specialty for every mask, like this one, uh, Stamina, Surge, Deep Slow, I think this one is more for, uh, yeah, for melee, I think, I'm not sure. Or is that the healer one? Yeah, this is the healer one. This is uh, the melee one. And this will be the archer one. Um, uh, do, 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 hidden assault. Let's pick this, pick this one. I think I picked that one for my uh, other game as well. I can customize that a little bit. Nothing much. Red seems to be... Uh, this is a nice option. I'm not going to be spending too much time on this, but... Yeah, this should do. So, uh, it has a few specific uh, things. You will see those here. I will try to explain them, those as we go. Hopla, hopla, hopla. And I will call my, my uh, character. So, uh, just... So you know, I'm playing this on a private server. I made a little server for myself, and that's where I will be playing on. Server has raised rates, like uh, faster XP, more production, faster production, more gathering, faster gathering, things like that. Maybe a little bit better loot, a uh, few raised things on the tribesmen you can uh, recruit, and things like that. But nothing damage-wise or combat-wise has been changed. So, here we are. We spawned in the world and yeah the map let me show you this is the part i know now this is the whole map it's huge uh, you will see that there are some questions mark question marks on the map uh, the idea is to go there and check what it is and maybe loot some stuff and yeah it's a survival game so you will need to eat you will need to drink you will need to uh, find cover for animals you will also need to gather stuff and of course there is stuff on the ground so I need to gather some stuff. The game says, uh, arm yourself. I need to uh, gather uh, bushes. 
and whatnot. I think I can gather these two to get some uh, thatch. So, so yeah, it's just like any other survival game, but there is a big difference. And let me tell you, uh, you see, the of course, immediately that every time I do something that improves, improves the proficiency at that special uh, specific thing. So logging, for example, I have now two in logging, uh, and I have a little bit of what is called um, harvesting upgrades. And yeah, those skills will allow you to get better, produce more, produce faster, and actually add some perks to your gameplay. So I will try to follow the tutorial, but I have already played through this game a little bit. I mean, I'm in, on our other server where we can play with Reto and other people. We are already in the mid-game section. So yeah, I know a few things about the game already, but I will try to explain everything for you guys as we go. So uh, first things first, inventory. Here we go. You can craft from your inventory, of course. There is your character. This is its level. You can distribute some points. Uh, accordingly then you have your stats for your character and these are all the proficiencies you have you see that this is all uh, different things you can do uh, crafting logging uh, whatever this will become clearer the more we do it but same thing with weapons the more you use a weapon the better you get at it and there has been an, a little update to the game uh, well a big update actually to the game a couple of days ago which makes your starting character a little bit more powerful in the past it wasn't that powerful because the main idea is you have a mask and it's the mask who, which is in charge of the game. So yeah, I will explain everything as we go, but you will notice that there are a lot of subsystems into the game. And yeah, uh, what do I need? More branches? Let's check where I can find branches of oh, this stone. I leveled up again. Okay, let's get everything we can. There are some branches here. How many branches do I still need? One more. Oh yeah, the level V thing you saw me do. Oh, there we go. New tutorial, mouse nose, knowledge and technology. Let's check the tutorial. I can do that, mouse nose. New, uh, I will explain that as we go. But uh, next up, iron yourself with weapons and gear, tool, build shelters, recruit tribesmen and assign work. Proceed to enter the knowledge. That's your knowledge skill. And here you can actually assign some points. First things first, we need campfire. We will, of course, need uh, primitive weapons, and I'm planning on... Mm, well, spare, why not? Maybe add the bow. Shield, I will skip the hammer for now. Uh, fire making, uh, that's a torch. The tools, I will need the tools, of course. There we go. Uh, this is all free for the time being. Hatch building, yes, please. You can see it requires zero points for the first things, but after a while it will start to cost points. So since this is zero points, I can learn it. Uh, what else do I need? Primitive fire making. Yes, I probably need a torch. You see these already require points. So in order to do slaughtering, I will need to spend some points. Is there anything else I want? Yes, there is this. I need awareness strength. Eight. I'm only at four, so I can't really do that yet. Maybe I should go for the slaughtering. Uh, probably the carpenter's thing, because I will need a bed, of course, and some storage chests. So let's spend points. There you go. Uh, I need awareness level five for this one. Do I need that yet? No, basic tannery. Nah, maybe to make leather. Weaving. Maybe grinding. Yeah, later on for sure. Potting, yeah, I will need that later on. Food processing, I'm not ready yet. And this I cannot take because I'm not high level enough. So yeah, let's uh, learn these, learn everything we can for now. Box, no, the rest. Oh, the tanning I could do, the tanning rack I could do. The rest I cannot do for now. Nope. Okay, so let's continue. What else do I need to do? Press tab to open your backpack, select campfire, I need to create a campfire, so D, uh, double click to uh, create one, and there you go, I have a campfire, that's all fine and dandy, uh, select the campfire, select the campfire you've crowd and press E to use a burning campfire, or bonfire can be used, yeah, okay, so let's place my campfire here, and 
let's drop it down three there you go now if i put some uh, thatch into this you will see that it will now burn for eight hours and for eight hours i now have a respawn point because i need respawn points uh, a respawn point in case i die of course which will happen which will happen uh, next step for the tutorial i need to create a stone pickaxe so let's make one there you go i'm making one from my inventory no, you see that this one returns as a uh, what's it called a good weapon. There are a couple of levels to the to the system. Use the stone pickaxe to collect stone. I can do that nine. And if I am here, I go to the stone. I can hit it, and I will get stone. Okay, now I need to create a stone axe. This one. Yeah, you, there are different levels. There is the grey, which is the default one. Then there is green, there is blue, there is purple, there is yellow, and there is orange. And the higher tier of uh, things you craft, the better it will be. It will do more damage, its durability will be better, th things like that. Okay, next up, I need to cut down some trees according to the tutorial here. Okay. I have trees, I have wood, I can now make the site as the tutorial tells me to, and this one will then be used to gather materials from plants. Okay, you see this is a blue one, it's already a little bit better. So, number seven, let's do that really quick. Arm yourself with weapons and gear and build shelters, okay, press O for the character, okay, Press O. I can put some points into different things. I think first things first, I need some health. So that's 10 health. Um, not really sure what things I will do. Let's put some points into this, some points into this. Do I need more endurance? I think I will be switching between these two for now. Perception is good for bow damage. This one is good for all one-handed weapons. This one is good for your carrying weight and all uh, two-handed weapons. This is your health and this is of course your, your endurance. I did get a little stat here. What does it say? You need strength to survive this land. Max load plus 20%. Okay, I get 20% more weight. That's fine. Let's add one point in here. Press this one. Done. And then press tab to open the crafting things. And I need to craft a wooden spare, which I will do straight away. There you go, wooden spare has been made. Then I probably add a wooden shield, because I can't see this one is a crappy tier level. My shield is blue. So I might want to try and see if I can get another spare at a better level. Yeah, the blue one is already better. So if you compare this one, the blue one does 22 damage, this one does 20 damage, so it, it's 10% more damage and the better they get, of course, the higher tier they get, the better the uh, things will be. And press F to execute special attack, equip your spare, there you go, and then I can press F to actually uh, throw my spare and put it back. Hup. And now I can put it back, you will see that that will become very handy later on. Uh, next up, arm yourself, uh, open the map. Okay, the map I've already shown you. I'm here on the map. I will have to go to this spot, to this spot, to, and to this spot, and later on also to these two. Okay, use your weapon to successfully hunt a common animal in the rain first. So, yeah, I have something which is called life perception. You see the Q key at the bottom left? Well, I can show you. Uh, no, I can't. If I press enter, I could this thing here, life perception. If I press the Q button, I use my life perception, which will detect animals and creatures in the area, close by. Of course, if I start to upgrade my mask, let's get rid of this one. I know about the map. The tutorial explains a lot, actually. I need to be careful because oh, there is one. See, there's a creature. So if I press F now, I missed because he's behind some stones let's try again i got it pull him back in then light attacks heavy attacks and you see that my spare skill has raised so i probably should have a butcher's knife by now yes the tutorial tells me that get the butcher's knife okay 
I tend to put that one on seven. Oh, it's a nice one. So like this, you. I got two even. Okay. So like this for now. And let's uh, cut this one up. Okay, there is one more. Oh, there's this even more. So there was one more. Okay. Let's go back to my campsite. Of course, you can't use this uh, skill all the time. There is something like energy in your mask, which I can show you by pressing the O button. Here you will see your mask energy, and I'm now two thirds of my mask energy. If you use the Q, uh, it will consume energy, and you will see later on that we can uh, replenish energy with some items. So, from here on, I can make some uh, meat. As you can see, I could have pressed double click for one, right click 10. E for one, t ten. I pressed F to craft them all because I will be using that meat. So toolbar select any cooked meat. Uh, cook, cooked. Yes. Yeah, so I'm doing that right now, which means I can put this on my hot bar. Most of the time, I have that on number six. I'm not really using uh, the site all that much. There you go. I can now consume some food, which. Uh, will regen my health a little bit and give me a buff as you can see in the top right you'll see cooked meat five minutes buff max hp plus 50 and hp regen a little bit as well i need to craft some thick roll for some reason let's make uh 10. oh i need 12 okay then i will make 10 more you can see that there is also a queue you can move move things in your queue really easily you can change the queue really easily no problem at all. Uh, linen gear, linen defense gear. So I need to get the linen gear and linen defense gear. Okay, this. Perfect. Uh, let's also get the linen attack gear. And this means I will be able to uh, create linen. All. And after that, create my armor as well. Yeah, give it a little minute. It's, meanwhile, I could also collect some more stuff if I need to but let's check the tutorial weaving proficiency yes I think this game was uh, is Chinese or, or it's some Asian country I think Chinese I'm not 100% sure so there might still be some translation problems here and there uh, I of course need linen gear so let's make uh, pants costume shoes and gloves the green one, okay. I definitely want better gloves. That's crap. It's already a little bit better. Of course, the higher your skill gets into crafting, the better you will get. The better the results will be. That's how I should say it. Uh, okay, I have that. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Escape. Press T to enter knowledge. Basic even simple weaving. I think I have the simple weaving. No. Okay. And then press tab and cut the simple simple bandages. Okay, three simple bandages. That's interesting to do. Uh, I can search simple bandages. It's still locked, so I need to unlock that. It's in the weaving category, simple weaving, because I didn't unlock that yet. And now I need to make three simple bandages. And for that, I probably need simple bandages I need linen okay let's make some linen uh, here I need more fiber okay let's go get some more fiber first so yeah the idea is to make a little series about this game see where I can get uh, I, I wanted to show you the the, the game as I have been playing it on the streams. Yeah, I still stream. So if you see me play there, we're already halfway in the game, I think. We're at the mid mid game section. And of course I have some nice builds made. That's uh, because I'm better at building than I am at actually fighting. Okay, let's make uh, some more linen and go with that. Meanwhile, let's also check our, no, our levels we got some more levels 
let's have some more points in here and then one in here and one in there check our proficiency because we are scaling up you see harvesting is at 11 I think my weaving skill should be raising as well weaving yeah seven out of ten and as you can see every 30 levels or so, or so you can choose an additional perk like for example faster weaving speed or more output but all those things will become clear once we are there of course now i need to make some linen bandages uh wait in fact i put in the linen bandages or oh, simple bandages okay let's make 15 and i normally put those in the number four spot number four is my bandages number five is my healing pots and number six is some of my food it says use a bandage which i will do there you go and now it will uh, ask me to actually build a foundation so build a um a base but I already know that I don't want to stay here for a base. I'd rather move to this location or somewhere up here. Because I do know I will need clay at some point and clay can only be found at uh, fresh water areas. So I already know I need to head here but the game will try to push me in that direction anyway. I could go up here and check what that is actually first check what I have here so yeah I'm pressing keys and not explaining if I press Y I will go into the mask mode so this is the core of your mask how you can expand and upgrade your mask so first things first as you can see I should be unlocking this probably and go in that direction why because I want to be able to control people I want to be able to recruit people and I want to be able to play as those people later on as well. But for that, you see, I need crystals. So I can't do that yet. Can we go find some crystals? Well, we can go check what's up here to start with. Uh, let's press V to mark that on the map. And then I should see it somewhere. Yeah, there. Uh, will I leave my campfire here? Yeah, I probably will. yeah let's go let's go let's go let's get rid of this one okay maybe i should also make a a bow and then some arrows for that i need branches so i will have to cut down some trees or yeah cut down trees and collect stone which i can do actually i'm gonna be doing that and tr Try to head up to the next section. Try to check what the, the question mark is. So cut down a tree. Uh, number eight. Cut down the street. Get some branches. As you can see, I'm leveling pretty fast. So that's because we have changed some settings on the server to uh, increase the experience gained while uh, doing stuff in-game. So if you would be playing on a official server, then everything would be a lot slower. So today I want to reach that one camp up there for sure. Okay, let's uh, I have a bow, so that's fine. I normally put that on fur and then arrows. Do I want wooden or do I want... I have not unlocked stone yet, so I need wooden, yes. Craft all. It's going to be like 50-something arrows. Yeah, okay. We can go to the shortcut I placed and check what those ancient runes are. Meanwhile, I could actually get some more experience with the spell. Of course, it just moves. Oh, I still got it. Left click, soft attack left click and hold button is a hard attack oh wrong key i'm so used to playing this game on uh, on the other server that uh, i might need to rebind or change some uh, some keys i mean not change the keys but uh, as you can see i pressed seven for my uh, i pressed eight for my butcher knife that's probably because i have it at 
set to number 8 on our other play session. Oh, the nice thing about the uh, spare is that you can use it in combination with a shield, which I kind of like. Okay, I think we're close. It says 80 meters. Okay, let's get this one. There's ancient ruins. Oh, crap. Okay, let's get the meat. Always good to get the meat. And check the next one. Yeah, let's try to get this one. Stamina is an issue. Okay, heal a bit. So I need more stamina. So these runes are protected by these creatures. They are a little bit tougher than the other ones. Headshots should be better. There's of course dodging and other things as well. might make uh, surviving these encoders a little bit easier. Let me change this because I will keep making the same mistake, of course. Okay, let's check what uh, what we find at these ancient ruins. Well, there is a rune here, as you can see, and ruins most of the time contain a box. A box with some loot. So let's look around. I see no box. What's this? Honest. That's just the plant. Okay, that's not what I need. Where is the diamond box? Oh, there is another structure here. Which, yeah, the box is here. So, in the box, you will can find some loot. And, ooh, holy moly. That's one heck of a, uh, of a loot box. I have a full set of beast armor which is the next tier up and a full set of weapons. But the most important thing is these things here, those uh, crystals, those are used by a few things. I think that's a strange that I'm getting that many, that much uh, stuff out of this. This is a big upgrade. It's the highest grade too. So the spear, the bow, this, then the arrows. I have bone arrows that I have a one heck of a good weapon here. And these are actually the crystals which are used to uh, fuel your, your mask um, or repair your mask. So this one is used to fuel high energy, uh, recovers 100% 100 of the energy of your mask. And these are what you are, uh, that's a lot, what you use to actually upgrade your mask. I might have to tone those settings down. Because normally you get a couple. So I repaired my core uh, module, which will give me a little bit more of the uh, functions. Repair it to enable energy, energy storage. Yeah, and I'll get a little bit more energy out of this. This I can't control because I, I can't do because I need level 15. Uh, this one I will need to get the data out of a rainforest. This one I need level 15 as well. I could repair those as well to get actually some uh, some other benefits as well like uh, for example that this section here is all uh, speeding up the rate at which you gain knowledge into your crafting skills this one is speeding up the rate at which you uh, gain knowledge in your uh, combat skills and if i'm correct this is general mask functions this is boss related things and the only difference between the masks is this line here this is specific to the masks themselves, so this section and everything below that. What does it say? Nothing. Wait, I need to check something else here, because sometimes there is what they call a tablet in these rooms. And these tablets give you some additional uh, points, technology points. As you can see, I have way better armor, so my uh, health is now double. 
So, where do we want to go next? I think this one. And then we will head up and, and try to find a location around here to actually set up camp. I might be running out uh, up there and cutting uh, this out after the fact, because this could take a couple of minutes. And uh, yeah, if I don't encounter anything special, then I should probably not be adding this into the video. So let's add some more points into stamina. Uh, one here, one there. Okay, let's add that. What did I get? I'm always a step ahead of death. Movement speed plus five. My proficiency in these things is still not high enough to actually do anything with it. Spare is getting there. So, yeah, I'm going to be running up there and probably bring you guys back once I am up there. Okay, I'm back and I reached the ancient ruins. And normally this is also part of the tutorial, but uh, I think because I didn't place down my base camp yet that uh, I'm not going to be getting it. So let's have a look around. You see there is one guy up there, which I want to get. <laughs> Okay, I got him. Anything worth getting? Yeah, let's get everything for now. I have the carry capacity, so... Oh, there is one here. Oh! Dodged! And I didn't. But I got him still. So there is one more guy up there. I wonder if I can already deter him. I don't know for sure. That's stupid. Can I? Oh, yeah, deterring. So, what does deterring do? Well, deterring actually um, renders them unconscious and then you will be able to tame them, actually recruit them. So, what's in there? Is there nothing in here but this is what I have to come here oh there is one guy here I got you but I still got you okay so there is a box in here yeah a box in here there is a box close to the campfire and there is Jesus that's over the top I will have to tone this down because that's not the way I have it set up on the other server this is way too much loot. So there is a, a special thingy here. I don't know what it is, so let's have a look at it. Uh, awareness strength 5, which I am. And I need to unlock this to uh, control. So this is the one node in the mask which gives access to the control feature. And the control feature actually allows you to, as the word says, control one of your clans people. And the clans people are the ones you recruit. So I have that unlocked. Let me check. Yes, this should be unlocked. That's perfect. Then I need level 15 for those. Uh, I need combat instinct. What is this? A repair to enhance the mask perception, detection range. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Repair to identify and it's these enemies within 10 meters. Okay. Need level 15, level 15. Repair to get more powerful energy storage units. Yeah, why not? But this is also level 15. I will be uh, checking out the settings on, on the server uh, in a bit because this is not... I don't think this is supposed to be that easy. I see, again, a full set. Why? Let's check in here if there is a tablet. I don't really see a tablet so far. Uh, no. Okay, so I have one guy down here. So what I can do now is actually pick him up and bring him to a, or her, bring her to a safe location, which I will try to do, but I don't have a base yet, so Probably I can't really do much about it. Let me check, where am I on the map? Yeah, 
if I would go up here, probably or up, or up here would be a nice spot. Or maybe even up here. You know what? Let's uh, head into that direction and see what we can find up there. If there are a lot of nasty creatures along the way, I will have to drop off actually our little guy here. But we might need to do that first because what we need to do is, since it's now unconscious, we need to give it some food. And do I have some uh, food on me? I don't really have any liquid food. Oh, I have broth. This is perfect. So you give it some broth, you first feed it, and that will make its uh, recognition raise. You see it's now at 198, it's now at 205, and once that reaches 500, I can recruit him or her into the clan. Oh, well, turkeys, that's fine. Should not be scared of turkeys. It's good to know that there is a turkey chicken here. Yes, you can tame and breed animal animals in this game, but we will come to that probably later on. Insufficient energy mask. So I should be filling up. I have way too many of these. I should not be having all this. Uh, that's a tarpir. There's nothing wrong with that. I might be heading in, into an area which is already a little bit above my head. Whether well, you're a bird. Let's drop you off. <laughs> Let's kill the bird. got another level. Let's check if I can see more than one bird. Nope, I can't. Let's pick you up and continue. There is no way you can fight with a thrall. Ah, the bush dogs, bush dogs. I hate bush dogs. They can be tough. They come in packs of three. And it can be nasty. <laughs> I think I'm... Oh, where are you? Where are you? Boy. I might need to be careful because uh, lakes could mean nasty creatures like crocodiles, alligators and maybe even anaconda. It's a turkey, that's fine. <coughs> it's a turkey baby, interesting. I'm actually walking in the wrong direction. Great. Oh! Ah, oh, there is an enemy camp here. Hmm. Do I want to continue and head in that? Yeah, maybe, maybe I should. Let's check that lake. And as I mentioned, I'm trying to move closer to a lake because there are some resources around the lake which I will need later on in the game. Once I have settled down, I will probably need all the clay I can find here. Is this worth building at? There's a top here. I see nothing really all that bad. Let's check this. I think this could actually do the trick. Where are you? Turkey and a turkey baby? That's fine. This is the clay I was talking about, so I will need that. I'm looking for a rather flat section. I think this will do. <coughs> it's also a turkey. I'm just checking if the area is safe enough. I think it is. Yep. Yeah. So let's drop off our little friend here, check. Uh, if he's ready to be recruited, or she is ready to be recruited. She's awareness le level... F uh, no, recognition is at 500, so, so I can recruit her. 
but I think I will be doing that in the next episode. So um, meanwhile, guys, if you think I should be making more videos about this game, then let me know in the comment section below. Give me a little like, maybe a little subscribe. And yeah, if there is someone who has tips on making uh, good thumbnails, because I suck at that, I suck at everything actually. Uh, so let me know, yeah, and I will be talking to you guys in uh, the next episode. And until then, have fun and stay safe. Bye-bye.